Everyone, in this video, I'm gonna walk through my favorite non-design design resources. What do I mean by that? I mean, these things help me become a better designer. They help me in my day-to-day -day life as a designer, as a product designer, but they're not actually design resources. So it's not like, you know, dribble or whatever. It's actually very specifically about the product space. And I think actually a couple of these might be new to you. And I think as a UX designer, it's really important to have a broad view of how products are made. And I think that these resources, the, all of these are free resources. Um, yeah, I think they're gonna be super useful for you. By the way, while you're watching this, if you have any questions, any comments, I'd love to know what are your favorite resources? What are the things you really like that are not design focused, but help you become a better designer? And also help us get more uh, subscribers, help us you know, sort out the YouTube algorithm, hitting the like button, hitting the bell, and maybe leaving a little comment. And if you're not subscribed, oh my God, so many people are not subscribed to this channel, but watch videos every day. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. So whatever, I'm gonna jump into uh, my first one. And the first one, I've talked about it on this channel before um, for a different topic, and this is stratechery.com. So stratechery.com is an amazing resource for sort of looking at the big picture of the tech and product scene, but not from a design perspective at all, rather from a business and strategy perspective. And I think it's really great as a designer to understand like the bigger picture of how these big tech players are working, how, why they're making their products, like why some acquisitions happen, things like this. So for me, this is a really fantastic website. I pay for a uh, subscription. I, I'm not sure how much, it's, it's super cheap. Um, and what this does is it gives you a really great, the, the daily news is super detailed. Um, and it just gives me a great overview of like, why is Uber thinking of buying Grubhub? And why, like, why is that something that for me as a designer, it's interesting. Why did Facebook uh, acquire Giphy? You know, what, what does that mean for the product? And, and this uh, website, stratechery.com, gives you a great overview. The, um, the guy, Ben Thompson, also runs a podcast called Exponent. Um, it's not super regular. Uh, I don't listen to it all the time because I really get everything from stratechery.com. But stratechery.com, fantastic. I really love it. Um, and yeah, that leads me to the next thing, which is... Axios. So axios.com is also sort of like a tech, a business focused tech website. Um, and what's nice about it is it's, it's just kind of super simple. Um, I just get the email. I just, I, you know, just every, every, I don't know how often I even get it anymore. Um, but basically it's a super simple, fast overview. Actually, it's very coronavirus uh, focused right now obviously kind of like everything else is. But this for me is my one of my favorite tech news sources um, that usually isn't super political. Um, for example, I used to love reading The Verge and I, I actually kind of, st I still go there, but I find The Verge to be uh, extremely pol political um, and it's a lot about, um, I don't know, The Verge just has this weird thing where they're just, ugh, I, I just don't like it that much. <laughs> okay, so that's Axios, really like that. By the way, the links will probably be down in the description. Uh, next thing is books for product managers on Ken Norton's website. So that's kennorton.com. Now, I think there's very few, if you're already, if you're already gonna be learning the basics of design anyway, of UX design about, you know, what just the absolute basics of how to create a user interface and how to design things for users, do user tests, all of that kind of stuff. You're going to be learning that stuff anyway because hopefully you're interested in it. But one of the best things you can do for your career is really learn about what product managers also need to learn because they're often the people who are going to be your boss. Product managers are often the, the, the people who are the bosses of designers. And why would it be interesting to know what your boss is telling you, like wh what your boss's job is? Well, because some of the best designers I know are very fluent in the product management space. And this website gives you a list of some of the best books on product management. I'll just give you the, the ones I would read, um, the Lean Startup. Actually, oh yeah, it's already, yeah, the, the highlighted blue ones up here are amazing. The ones that, the one I recommend here, the Lean Startup, I would start with that. Gives you basically, it's the essential book for startup product managers, but I think it's the essential book for all startup managers, uh, product managers these days. Also check out the product management Reddit page. 
um, once a week or something like that, just to have a look, you know, f just, just to see what topics are there, just to see if there's anything interesting that kind of tickles my fancy. <laughs> I also like, for example, I really like this article. Um, what, like, what are the specific companies tech interviews like? Um, and you can see here that this is also interesting if you're a designer, because a lot of there's, there, there are, there is some crossover between, uh, product design work and actually product management. So next innovation hackers on, uh, Facebook, it's a cheesy name. A lot of people don't like using Facebook groups. Um, but actually this is one of the groups that I set up years ago, not even thinking about it. And it's become super active, uh, for designers, for our product managers. And, um, yeah, I check it every single day. I like, it's re just really great, um, posts on uh, posts and questions on the topic of product management, on the topic of design, on the topic of innovation. I find it super, super useful. And yeah, pretty much that's it for me. Those are the, those are the websites I check every day. Um, the podcasts I listen to exponent, like I mentioned, I actually don't listen to, let, let me just check here quick. So I listen to the recode podcast. I listen to the marketing secrets show. I, l I listen to Noah Kagan presents. I, I, the more I feel, I, I listen to the product experience by mind, the product. I listen to Recode Decode, which is what I said, Recode Podcast, Tech Meme Ride Home. Oh, that's the one I forgot to show. Here we go. Um, tech Meme is my favorite tech news website. It's super basic, super like n no frills. And for me, it's the best way to just get the like quick overview in the morning. Hey, what's going on in the tech world? What interesting new products have come out? That's honestly my favorite, just quick uh, tech news website. Okay. So I just want to make a really quick video for this week. Um, it's no frills again, just me sitting in front of my computer in my room with this way too bright light. I actually need to turn it down. It's giving me a headache. Um, let me know what non design websites and resources do you love that make you like, in your opinion, make you a better designer, make you a better UX designer. And thanks for watching everybody. Thank you for watching. Ah, bye bye. Hey, what's up everybody? Um, in this video, Hey, John, <clears throat> in this video, in this video, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to walk you through my favorite resources, um, and news sources and podcasts and whatever. Um, Reddit page. I know that's going to out me as someone who doesn't use Reddit all the time. Reddit threat. I don't know. It's Reddit <laughs> or product management.